Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the uh, voltage drops across the alternator. In that, the open circuit voltage E equal to, open circuit voltage E equal that will be combination of terminal voltage plus IAZS. IAZS. Okay. Next, we will draw the phase diagram of the alternator. So this is very important topic. This is very important topic. So in order to draw the phasor diagram, we are considering the, the alternator is assume that it is a cylindrical alternator. Cylindrical alternator. Generally, there are two types of alternators. One is cylindrical, another one is salient pole. But here the cylindrical alternator we are considering. So first, the first thing you have to draw is First thing you have to draw, generally you have to draw the, the main field flux vector. So this is the main field flux vector that is represents with the phi m. This is the main field flux. Yeah. Here you can write here phi m is the main field flux. Main field flux okay next and yeah this is the e after 90 degrees the open circuit voltage will be generated after 90 degrees the open circuit voltage will be generated but we don't know magnitude because here just observe here the open circuit voltage open circuit voltage depends on V terminal voltage and drop drop across IAZS. So that's why first we will write down that we'll find out that. So here, so after for any machine after del angle after del angle and terminal voltage will be developed. So just take it as this is the terminal voltage this is the terminal voltage just assume it is the terminal voltage this is the vector terminal voltage here del is the del we can call it as angle between the open circuit voltage and the terminal voltage this angle is name it as the load angle or power angle we can call it as load angle or power angle so and always there is uh, if it is a the alternator the armature current always lags in alternator so the current assume this is the current vector ia so this angle is power factor angle so here phi angle between terminal voltage and load current load current armature current both are same so this angle is called as power factor angle power factor angle and look at the formula there the combination of voltage terminal voltage plus drop will give the open circuit voltage from this and we will draw the two drops the first drop is iara the first drop is iara so this is the terminal voltage just right here for the better purpose so ia ra is parallel with the thing here the ia ra here ia ra is parallel with the thing there is somewhat uh, distance is there but this is the ia ra both are in parallel and after that after that to complete to find out the v we should take the both the drops one is iara plus ia excess the drop is for ia excess ia excess so if it add we will go we will get the reactance voltage er so from that i will draw here ia excel just add the voltage for the 90 degrees 
this voltage is called IAXL then this the combination of terminal voltage and voltage drop across the armature resistance and drop across the leakage reactance will give ER voltage this voltage is called as the ER voltage this voltage is called as the ER voltage then if we are adding if we are adding the armature drop that is IA excess then the final AV will get the open circuit voltage so this is the just take it as the this is the IA X IA XA armature drop then we will get complete voltage E that complete voltage E now we can write the combination of this load angle load angle is between this point and this point and power factor angle is between voltage and current the combination of load angle and power factor angle is known as the psi name it as the psi so here the angle between the E and IA is known as the the internal angle we can call it as the internal power factor angle internal power factor angle okay this is open circuit voltage and this is the load voltage a combination of these two called internal power factor angle right and the complete voltage complete voltage drop from IARA plus JIAXL plus IAXA the complete drop from this we can write from the voltage we can write from the voltage as well as IAZS this drop is called the IAZS drop IAZS drop this voltage is called IAZS drop that means synchronous impedance drop synchronous impedance drop what is IAZS here IAZS means a simply it is a simple thing IAZS is we already written these things again I will write here IARA plus J IAXL plus IAXA IAXA this complete combination is called synchronous impedance drop okay and this is psi psi generally depends on psi generally del plus r minus phi why if armature current is lagging power factor then infer inductive load it is less than v if it is leading power factor this armature current is more than v then the the internal power factor angle will be varied that is plus for lagging power factor and minus for leading power factor minus for leading power factor okay so the finally we are getting emf the open circuit emf e value that e open circuit emf e is simply we are getting the 5m main field flux leads the internal emf then after v will leads the armature current v will leads the armature current and and these are the uh, very important phasor diagram of alternator phasor diagram of alternator and this er we can call it as air gap voltage ER will be name it as the air gap voltage air gap voltage so but E is the internal voltage and this ER is called the air gap voltage okay yeah so this is about the phasor diagram of the alternator this is a very very important thing very very important thing and in this we are learning the new things one is load angle under one is psi internal power factor angle and the e minus er the drop between the 
8 gap voltage and the, the drop with the open circuit voltage and the 8 gap voltage open circuit voltage and air gap voltage is nothing but the drop of the armature IAXK drop of the armature okay so I hope all of you understand the session thank you